Welcome to Coffee Calm and Connection Bite Size, where we deliver key takeaways from our full interviews on current topics from mental health experts. What do you think the function of Becky is? Because there's a reason we are biologically driven. Oh, sorry, yeah. we've evolved to have the inner voice. What do you think the function is and can it ever be helpful? Yeah, well, I actually, so this is, I actually look at, at myself as though I almost have two inner voices. So there's the Becky who is critical and likes to point out things that I've done wrong and all the awful things that everybody thinks about me. So there's, there's her. But then I think there is another inner voice that I wouldn't even name because it's almost like just a gut instinct or a, if you're in a really calm place and this is where all the self-care comes in, that there's actually, I'm a big believer that most of the answers to the questions we have, we have inside of us. And that, again, it sounds a bit cheesy saying it, but I think, you know, as a, as a female in a male dominated industry, I've spent many years like feeling like I didn't know what I'm doing and imposter syndrome and I don't have the answers and I need to ask somebody else. I need to check what I'm doing with somebody else all the time. And actually, I realise now that it's just kind of, um, uh, I guess it's like a maybe a confidence, but just a, a knowledge that I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I know the path I'm supposed to be on. I know that it's okay to fall off it um, and to pivot and go in a different direction. And sometimes if I'm really kind of quiet and feeling grounded I can I know exactly what direction that is in an instant and I never had that capacity I think when I was in my 20s it's definitely something that's cultivated over time as you think it comes with age yeah it does where would you say the pivotal age for you was for me I would say it was probably I'm 38 now I'd say it's probably about mid 30s that, I'm, that I started to feel like that. I'm 38 in about six weeks. Okay. And uh, I, I would also say about 34, 35 yeah. was when I finally felt, and not every day and not all the time, but there was just almost an, an anchoring somewhere yeah. about myself that I was more okay with than I'd probably ever been. Yeah. And, and Claire still pipes up a lot, but there is that anchor that I think is, is yeah, helpful. I agree. And I think as time goes on, it gets stronger and stronger. And I'm now in a place where I'm previously, I would have thought, I don't, I don't want to get older. I don't want to go into my thirties and all that. Now I can't wait for my forties because I, I feel like it's going to be another great decade because I'm going to know more stuff and I'll be more certain about who I am and who knows what I'll be doing and what life will look like at that point. But I feel very optimistic about the future, whereas I think probably in my 20s, I would have been more worried or unsure. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a good place to be. 